All right, does the Impossible Meat Burger sound appetizing to you? Thinking about it, Philip Townsend found out more people are getting a taste for it. He decided to see why. Veggie burgers have come a long way. Compared to those ones we used to neglect in the back of the freezer, you now have tastier options from bean burgers to quinoa patties. But they almost all lack that certain, well, beefiness that most meat lovers crave. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Until now. You see how, like, how it sears hard like beef? Slowly kind of bleeds, like you can cook it any temperature you want it. You're looking at impossible meat. It's made from plant proteins, coconut oil, and the magic ingredient. It's essential for pretty much life on Earth. A naturally occurring protein known as heme that's extracted from soy plants. The amazing thing about heme is that it's also what makes meat delicious. If you want to try it, there's only two places in Hampton Roads that serve it. Stoney's here in Virginia Beach is one of them. So I came to talk to regular chef Dave Hanna about why he picked it up in the first place. They sold, sold kind of slow, and then some vegan group on Facebook posted that we had it, and we've been selling them ever since, like the top burger we sell. That's right, it's the restaurant's top selling burger, and it's vegan. Granted, it looks, cooks, and even tastes like the real thing. This truly is like, you could fool people. Say that like, I decided to enlist the help of two of our producers, Allison and Matt. I mean, it looks like the real thing. To see yeah. how it stacks up. I feel like aesthetic wise, it gives you, it tricks you, your mind tricks yeah. you into thinking you're eating meat. No, if you gave this to me and just told me it was a regular burger, I'd believe you. I would agree with that. It's not something I would be like, yes, I'm going to order that, but it's something I would order out of curiosity. Now it's important to note, despite its popularity in bigger cities, especially on the West Coast, Impossible Meat still has not gotten the approval from the Food and Drug Administration. A lot of that has to do with how new the product is, and the company is fighting for its place in the food world. In fact, its founder is a Stanford biochemist with credible investors, including Bill Gates. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.